Hey, Recovery Church Movement family. My name is Pastor Billy Roble. I am from the Recovery Church Sunbury location up here in central Pennsylvania. We're, we're bearing a, a strong winter at this point. On behalf of Pastor Phil and the Recovery Church Movement team, thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for believing in incredible things and seeing what God is doing uh, through your life in the Recovery Church Movement. I want to share with you a story about a woman named Gina who's been coming to Recovery Church. Uh, she's been in recovery for over a year. She was an atheist. She, she, she had a God of her understanding, but it certainly wasn't Jesus Christ. And so her husband had, had come to Christ and we've been working with him for about over a year. And so she would just hate when he would talk about Jesus or read his Bible or listen to Christian music. And so wouldn't you know, as she continued to come to Recovery Church and God began to work in her life and as she found herself praying, she said she couldn't get this Jesus guy out of her mind. And so we have watched Gina come to faith in Christ over the last couple months. And, you know, scripture talks about streams of living water bubbling up out of our lives. And we have just watched God transform this woman. She is living her life for Christ. She is carrying the message more than she ever has to those who are still sick and suffering. We are just incredibly honored to be part of seeing God do such a transformational work in somebody's life who was broken and lost. And I'm sure you have story after story from your locations about how God is working and changing lives. We are so blessed to be part of this movement and what God is doing. We thank Pastor Phil and the team for including all of us really in this incredible vision set before us. You know, in 2021, we had over 100,000 overdose deaths. It's a staggering number, and that's just from fentanyl. That's not including deaths that are related to addiction through alcohol and other issues. Over 4 million deaths in addiction. And so we are literally losing an entire generation uh, to, to addiction. And you know, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but we know Christ comes to give life to us. And so that's what we're believing for Recovery Church and the Recovery Church movement. You know, the solution we believe is Recovery Church, that, that Jesus wants to meet people where they're at and bring we want to bring them through the doors, accepting them in and watching God clean them up and transform them from the inside out. You know, Recovery Church is really a network, a network of recovery churches uh, throughout America, uh, really bringing in those who are new in recovery, uh, in long-term sobriety, who don't have faith yet and bridging that gap for them to connect them uh, to God in a relationship with God, training them up, discipling them, mentoring them to grow in their faith so that they can be really ambassadors for Recovery Church and for Jesus Christ. And so the vision for, for Recovery Church, Pastor Phil has a large vision and it's to plant a recovery church in every city in America. And why not? It's a God-sized vision and we have a God who can do the impossible. So we are believing for great things. You know, Recovery Church, we are seeing an average attendance each week of 30 to 40 in all locations. And a few locations have over 100 addicts and alcoholics coming each week. And one location with over 200 people coming on a weekly basis. Just absolutely incredible what God is doing. You know, from one church a few years ago, we have over 30 recovery churches uh, pl planting up in different cities across America. Just absolutely incredible. I want to share a few stats with you from 2021 because this is really a time to celebrate what God is doing through the movement and God is changing lives. In 2021, we've seen over 200 baptisms through the Recovery Church movement, over 630 professions of faith in Jesus Christ with an average attendance of just over 1,100. And that's not including our online video views. This is really just the attendance within our physical locations. And we're we're seeing over 300 active volunteers each week carrying the message uh, to the still sick and suffering. You know, during the pandemic, we've seen so many churches, and I know it's it's no different uh, down south as it is up north, closing down uh, because of COVID and really just the church closing in really in many ways. But what we've seen within the recovery church movement is more opening up. We opened our location up in August. So God is, is blessing the recovery church movement. We don't have any time to waste, whether there's a pandemic or no matter what's going on, addiction doesn't stop. 
Actually, it got worse for many, and you know that. We lost a lot of folks uh, in addiction during the pandemic. So, But God is continuing to plant churches through us and giving each person a vision for more. And so in 2022, we have even a greater vision. Pastor Phil uh, has given us, he hopes to see 50 locations in 2022 and over 1,500 people in attendance each week. We are believing for over 800 salvations and, and 300 baptisms. Why not? with over 400 volunteers. As God continues to spread the message, just absolutely incredible what he can do. You know, in this last year, there's been talk of, of really a recovery church institute. And really, that's already established. It's in the works and continuing to get fleshed out here. And what it's going to be is a program to train up people within the recovery church movement to be recovery ministers and to continue planting recovery churches across America. Stay tuned for more information on that. We believe that God wants to bring a revival to our country, specifically to those who struggle with addictions. Not one more person has to die from addiction. We truly believe that. We believe that God is going to use the least of these to reach the least of these. And, and we are so incredibly blessed for your partnership with us. On behalf of Pastor Phil and the entire Recovery Church Movement team, thank you. Thank you for your dedication to Jesus, to the church, and for continuing to carry the message to those who are still sick and suffering. Have an incredible 2022. We will be praying you on and praying you through. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need encouragement from us. Thank you.